What's freakier, being in the bottom of the ocean or being up in space? Up in space is more surreal. Yeah, because of the floating, the, the earth out the window, the views are better. But being it down there was pretty wild too. I, I remember once we were doing this experiment where I had my crewmate and I had an ultrasound. And we're doing this telemedicine experiment. So there are these docs in Houston looking at the screen, but there's a delay. And I'm supposed to find our kidney. And I'm like searching around for a kidney. And then uh, I, I look up and I look out the window and I see a six foot hammerhead shark right out the window. And we have a guy in the water. And I was, I, I, and I dropped a giant F bomb. I'm like, ah! you know. And, uh, and all, the, all, the, all the docs in Houston are freaking out. They're thinking, like, in a moment, they're going to see her liver explode on the screen or something. And they're like, what's that? What has a patient? How's the patient? I'm like, patient's fine. Got a six foot hammerhead out the window. <laughs> yeah, that's got to be really weird, right? You're, you're in that thing, in their world. For how long? Two weeks? Yeah. So is that the weirdest animal that you saw, is the hammerhead? The scariest thing I saw was one night I was taking a dump. <laughs> this is a true story. Uh, I, the way you do this, okay, number one, you just pee in the pool, okay? But if you have to go number two, you go into the pool, because you, you don't want to float her in your pool, right? That's of course. Like Caddyshack, you don't want to go. Right. So what you do is you go, you, you, you don't take a tank, you just take your mask and your fins, you go down. Naked? Y you can. Uh, we, had a, we had a mixed gender crew, so I, I wore some trunks, but you know. And then you just go down, and you have to swim, I don't know, it's like maybe 10, 15 feet, it's not that far. And there's a, what we call the gazebo, which is just a little dome uh, f that has uh, air inside. Now you're out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Like, with no tank, no, and you're 60 feet down, it's night. You can't see a thing. You're, oh, in a, you're alone in the ocean. But you can see this little gazebo. You swim to that, you pop in, and then you got air, just some valves, you let in some fresh air. And then you hold on, and you just and you take off your trunks, and you just let it rip. But the problem is, the fish get accustomed to this. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. So they go there knowing that you're going to poop. As soon as you drop in the water at night, it's like the dinner bell going off. Oh, and there's like disgusting. school. Of, yeah, yeah. Because this is oh. feeding time. Whoa. And so you feel them like yeah. pecking at the back door? The worst are the angelfish. Because that shape, they can get like right up in there. Oh, it's like not cool. boy. So you, you take your fin off and you're like whacking them. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know?